Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Sean and this is Echo here behind me and today we're going to be training Echo his whistle commands. So before we jump into this video, please remember if you do enjoy this video, like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel out greatly. Let's get into the video guys. So guys, if you've been with the channel for a little while, you know we started teaching Echo some whistle commands back in November and uh, after the sheep were bred we didn't do any training with them and now the lambs are old enough to do a bit of training. So we're going to go back to whistles. Now before I was trying to teach Echo a different set of whistles from Storm, but over that period from November he's been listening to Storm's whistle and starting to pick up a few little things. So I'm just gonna keep them on the same set of whistle commands as Storm. So guys, before we get into the train, I'm gonna show you what whistle commands I'm gonna be trying to train. So this will be our lie down whistle. This will be the come by whistle. This will be the away whistle. And eventually our walk on will be so those are the four whistle commands that I'm going to be trying to train first. So let's also talk quickly about how we train these commands. So much like we would train the verbal commands where we'd get the dog moving in a certain direction and then build that association with the word. So if I got him moving round left and then just keep repeating come by until he associates the word come by with a left movement. So we're doing roughly the same thing except we are associating the verbal command with the whistle command. So I'm going to use verbal commands then give the whistle commands as he's taking that command and sort of go in and out of them. So I'm building up the association with the whistle command with the verbal command. So again quickly I'll be giving verbal commands followed by the whistle command and then repeating that whistle command with the verbal commands. So you get a better idea as you see us doing it here in a minute. Come by. Come by. Come by. Lie down. Lie down. Come by. Come by. Lie down. Good boy. Come by. Away. Lie down. Good boy. Get the. Come by. Good boy. Come by. Lie down. Good boy. Away. Away. Now nah, we. Echo. Lie down. Lie down. Come by. Come by. Good boy. Away. Good boy. Good boy, Echo. Good boy. Away. 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 Good boy. Here, here. Ah. Good boy. Good boy. 
So guys, our first run out there was actually very successful, better than I thought. Uh, obviously has been picking up some of Storm's whistles because he was almost taking that come by on its own there for a second. Uh, the lie down was always the same as it was before and he's got that one pretty well. The away, struggling a little bit with it. Not too bad considering this is our first time back in six months at these whistles. Uh, but yeah, did pretty well for the first little run there. Like I said, sheep are running fast and a bit hard to control just because they haven't been uh, used for dog training for nearly six months, but uh, they'll come round pretty quickly. So obviously I've got the walk-on whistle to get in there as well, and I have also want to train a that'll do whistle, which will be the same storms as well, which will be... Walk on, walk on. Like it. Okay guys, so we had a really good run there. You've seen towards the end of the run, he was starting to pick up those whistle commands without any verbal cues, which is absolutely great for our first session back in six months. So I'm not gonna do any more running of the sheep today. We're just gonna do a quick uh, lesson on recall. And I'm gonna come back every single day this week. And by the end of the week, I'll put it at the end of this video. Hopefully what I'll have is a run where I'm just using whistles and that is it. But anyway, let's show you how I train the that'll do with the whistle commands. So I'm gonna walk up the field and then I'm gonna use the that'll do to recall them along with the whistle command and uh, keep retraining it that way. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Come on. That'll do. That'll do. He's a bit unsure if that's that'll do or lie down. <laughs> Go. Lie down. That'll do, come on. That'll do, come on. Good boy. Good boy, that'll do. Good boy. So guys, that's gonna conclude what we're doing today. What I'm gonna do is over the next five days, I'm gonna do a session every single day and hopefully by the end of the week, what I can do is do an entire whistle session without giving any verbal commands. And that's pretty much the aim. So stick around guys, and you'll find out if we manage to do that or not. Okay guys, so me and Echo have been whistle training all week. So it's time to find out how Echo's got on and how much he's learned.
Good boy, Echo. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Guys, what did you think of that? Put it in the comments down below. I personally think Echo did really well in those five days. He's picked up those five basic whistle commands extremely well. And I wasn't given any cues with my body physically or any verbal cues there in that bit of footage. Uh, he just picked up those whistle commands and he's working to them pretty well, I think. We'll do a bit more work just making sure he's sure on them uh, over the next couple of weeks, but I think he could go out and he could actually work on whistle commands now. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and leave us a comment, and that'll do for this week. See you later, guys.